A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 be a sequence of five consecutive odd numbers. So A1, A2, A3. So I'm going to call this as n. A3 as n. n minus 2, n minus 4, n plus 2, n plus 4. Consider a new sequence of five consecutive even numbers ending with 2A3. So this is A3 ending with 2A3. Five consecutive even numbers. If some of the numbers in the new sequence is 450, so I'm going to think about the new sequence as m, m minus, sorry, m plus 2, m plus 4, m minus 2, m minus 4. 2a3 is the last number that happens to be m plus 4. Fine, no. Now adding all this, we get 450 or the middle number is 90, 5m is 90, so 92, 94. 94 is 2a3, 2a3 equals 94 or a3 is 47. This is 47, 49, 51. So a5 should be 51. The key learning here or the only big learning here, the only important point here, if you have five terms in an AP, anchor it around the middle term. Average of any number of terms in AP is the middle term. Median, mean, both are the middle term. So five terms in AP, five times the middle term is sum of all terms. So sum of these five terms is 450, middle term is 90. Middle term is 90, that means the last term is 94. Last term is 2A3, 2A3 is 94, A3 is 47, A4 is 49, A5 is 51.